Welcome to Cube Mini from Lunacy Audio, the bite-sized license for Cube. It features the same award-winning engine and seamless 3D interface that powers Cube, but with a focus on the highest impact features to maximize your creativity. Mini comes equipped with over 120 production-ready presets, 35 expertly crafted sound sources, and a curated set of foundational sound design tools. Mini can also load any Cube expansion pack. Before we dive in, let's hear some presets. Here's how it works. Cube has eight corners, each with its own sampler. You can easily load sounds into each corner of the cube and blend them together just by dragging the orb around the space. Hold shift and drag the orb to move back and forth in Cube's 3D space. You can even randomize paths for the orb with this button here and control the speed at the bottom. The main page is the engine's primary performance space. Here you can interact with the cube itself and easily tweak the sound with our three core knobs, ether, macro, and filter. This is your ether slider. Use it to increase the sound's intensity and sweep between the two dynamic layers recorded for each sample. Use the macro knob to quickly transform the sound. The macro is unique for each preset. Mini comes equipped with over 120 production-ready presets. Cube's preset browser makes it super easy to find the perfect match for your track. Choose your folder and then sort presets by favorites or tags. On the right-hand side, you'll find useful information about each patch, including the macro functionality. If you want to tweak the sounds in a preset, the sounds page allows you to browse and edit samples. Here in the global overview, you can activate corners, solo and preview samples, and tweak some basic editor functions like sample reversing and looping. Clicking on a corner will open that corner sample editor, which allows you to make deeper changes to the sound source. Editors are divided into two views, basic and tweak mode. Basic gives you some quick controls for volume, envelopes, filters, as well as pan and pitch controls. Tweak view shows deeper options for editing the loop speed, arpeggiator settings, stereo width, key range, and more. The sound browser is where you'll choose new sounds for each corner. Click on the sample name to access the sound browser. You can then search for sounds with these tags and select from the list on the right. When you want to go back to the overview, just click the overview button here. Right click on a corner panel to copy, paste or clear different elements from each sampler. The effects page shows all of Cube's built-in effects modules, which include filters, EQ, distortion, compression, chorus and phaser, stereo delay, algorithmic reverb and convolution reverb, as well as a limiter. 
You can activate effects by toggling the power button in the corner of the effects slot or by clicking the title button within each module. For those moments where you need even more content and sounds, you can easily load expansions into the Cube Engine. Expansions contain both new sound sources and presets, and can also be mixed with the factory content. And here's a bonus tip. If you want to change things up, you can randomize sounds, orbits, or effects using these buttons on the menu bar. Thanks for watching, and we can't wait to hear what you make with Cube Mini.